Fiba Wolbas! Shipa! How are you doing? Good to see you, man. Hey, Alexia! One, two, jump! <laughs> I'm doing good. Thanks so much for that, for Prey. I'm excited for that. I, I loved System Shock, so I heard that Prey is basically the, a spiritual successor to that. So I'm definitely going to be trying that and playing. I'm doing all right. You know, holiday was replaced with a trip to Michigan because Amber's stepmom passed away, unfortunately. So, you know, not a all fun trip, but doing good. Amber's still there. She's back in another week. But uh, I got back yesterday and uh, doing good. Hey, Spammer Jote. You've been playing a lot, yeah. I, I heard it's kind of scary. You can turn into like a, a a cup to go under things and stuff, or or the monsters can be cups. I don't know. I I don't want to know too much about it. I just read a little bit about it when it was released. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Of course you can, spammer Joe. R right now I'm not I'm not gonna start flying straight away though. I'm gonna do a bit of little nav map, but I'm starting at at Lima Foxtrot Papa Golf at Charles de Gaulle in Paris. And this is what I was telling you about, uh, Spammer Goat. If you click here, Fly Conditions, okay? And here you make sure all players, live traffic, and live weather. The main thing really is all players. You make sure that that's selected, and then we'll be able to see each other, okay? And if you want to see my... Am I talking too loud? I, I, I'm all discombobulated. You figure it out, cool. Going in blind is best, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm excited. Have you finished it yet? I, I'm excited for that. Thanks so much. And uh, it's uh, I also I love sci-fi, you know, and so that that game is gonna be up my alley. Here, let me turn it to here now. Hey, I'm back every every day, every weekday, 10 p.m., 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I might change it a little bit. I am going away again uh, next week for a few days if things go as planned to, to actually try to get a little holiday and, and camp with a couple of old friends in Amber. And then back and then um, and then another week here and then uh, I'm gonna cats it for crazy photographer I used to work with. But I'm taking my streaming setup up there to cats it. So we're going to be streaming from somewhere different. We're going to be streaming from uh, up the Hudson. It's going to be a little crazy, but I'm going to do it. I'll see what happens. Uh, let's spawn. Uh, let's see. Let, let's pick a place here, okay? Here, let, let, let's start this. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use little nav map. This is little nav map, okay? So I added I added Google Maps as per, as per I think Wild Craze mentioned or was it uh, uh, I forgot I think Wild Craze mentioned. I'm using a little nav map to make this to make this plan. And I added all the it's cool you can do Mercator projection, but then you know look at the size of uh, G Greenland. You know Greenland's not that big. Okay, it, Mercator it's a useful map, but it's it does it throw everything off. You know spherical. Then look at that. That's how big Greenland is. Okay, I love that you can have spherical. But look at that, I, I have Google Maps, I have Finland topographic, I mean, we could zoom into Finland and, and see, and see the to, 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 topography. Whoa! And a subscription, one, two, boss! Thank you, Galaxia! Thank you! Thank you for the subscription, you're the one who makes this happen. Kind of people like yourself. Oh, and it's, 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 uh, it's Shiba gifting! Awesome! Thank you, Shiba. Thank you for gifting a, a gift for the, to, <laughs> to Galaxy. And I get confused because it says Galaxy can subscribe, but then I also see that Shiba, it just gives me a little... I use Volanta. Okay, I, I don't know about Volanta, but uh, but this... I'm using Little Nav Map, which is free. I donated the other, like 30 or 40 bucks. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to do the Google Maps satellite. And let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's type in here on airports. Let's type in uh, what was it? Lima Foxtrot Papa Golf, which is Charles de Gaulle. Je veux 
aller au choc de gueule au port, monsieur. Monsieur, je veux un peu de, un peu de onion soup. <laughs> How long until we fly? It's gonna be probably about 20 minutes or so. Because I want to try this, I want to see how far this airplane I'm going to try to fly goes. And I want to try to, I, I, because this thing is starting on 2 a.m. in New York City on Saturday night. And I want to already get a, I want to ha get a hang of, of, of the, the course now because the earlier I do that, the more I can see problems with it. So let me zoom in here to Charles de Gaulle and let's start at, uh, I don't know, here. And I'll, and I'll show you what I'm doing, okay? I'll show you what I'm talking about is this event. The deadline passed, but if you if you write uh, CDL nicely, he may let you participate if you feel like flying for 20 hours, okay? This is what we're going to do here is the 2021 Microsoft Flight Simulator Endurance Race Series starting on July 3rd here in New York. It's going to be at 2 in the morning. I'm going to be up at 2 in the morning. I'm going to be getting into an airplane, a digital airplane, and I'm going to fly for it's going to be a 20 hour stream. I'm going to have to take naps and stuff, put on, I'm going to have guitar music because Amber is not going to be here. So I'm going to be able to play guitar and it's going to be a, another wild one. I think maybe I'll even have a, maybe I'm going to do like a, some event that I, I, I have a, a magic gummy bear and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. About 20 minutes spammer Joe. Maybe a little longer. All right. So you see, this is Paris Dakar. So we're gonna start at Charles de Gaulle. Here you go, let's see. Live weather, live time must be turned off for the entire flight. And where, where do we, does this, I think we start from the runway. Okay. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, where is it, where is it, okay. 8 a.m. Central European Summertime on July 3rd, 6, 6, 0600 hours Zulu time, if you're a fan of that sort of military type Zulu time. Okay. Oh, and where does it start? Runway, maybe? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Runway. No results. You know, you know what drives me nuts about this Microsoft Flight Simulator followers is that they hijack your Control F key. And instead of just letting you do control F, they, they hijack it and, and want to do a search for you. I really, really dislike when web developers hijack your keys without your permission. But uh, all right, I'm, I'm just going to pick a, a spot. OK, let's just uh, let's just go right on the runway. So to keep things simple, let me hover over Charles de Gaulle. Here you go. OK, wind is it's coming from a 281 degrees. That's what that's about uh, west northwest. OK, so wind's coming from the from that way. So we're going to be at this way because you want to take off against the wind. So let's go on 26 R. OK, and I'm going um, to let, let's go to R1. OK, it's a holding area here. So the first thing I'm going to do is. Uh, this is how you do it. OK, I'm going to go to Charles de Gaulle and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go add, add uh, set as flight plan departure. OK, and then I'm going to type in here our destination, which is going to be uh, GUI, Goof Oscar Oscar Yankee, Goof Oscar Oscar Yankee. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go set fl as flight plan destination. So now I have this big yellow line all the way from France across a little bit of the Bay of Biscay here, just a little bit. The Pyrenees are there. Then you got Spain. Then we're going to go past Gibraltar. Then we're going to get in the coast of Morocco. Marrakesh is around there. Then we're going to go into Mauritania, where uh, the, one of the mercenaries from Far Cry 2 was from. And then we're going to go all the way to Senegal to Dakar. That's how far we have to fly. OK. And this and then I'm just going to show you. Uh, OK, I'm just going to go file um safe flight plan okay and i'll just uh it, it hopefully gives you shards the goal lfpg to leopold said our senghor gui save and i'm gonna file it's quite a journey do you want to fly it with me it's gonna be 20 it's, i mean it starts 8 a.m europe time so it'll be easier for you guys this time uh but it'll start at 2 a.m for me and they picked different parts of the world there's four races in, in uh the, per the first one was perth to sydney and australia 
Then it's going to be this one. Then it's going to be two more. I'm not sure. One is called Cannonball Run. Okay. Now, look, export flight plan as Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 plan. So do it. And look at this. Helpfully, it tells me the departure airport has parking spots, but no parking spot was selected for this flight plan. Select start position. Okay, so I'm going to click select start position. And right now, here you go. Let's go, I think, uh, was it 27L? Let's go 27. Uh, here, let's let's go. Here you go. Okay, sounds good. Let, let, let's start at uh, 27 right, I think. Okay. All right, and now I'm gonna save. And look at this. Now I out and and, and look at this. Uh, you have this yellow line, and down here you have the flight plan elevation profile. So you see how high you're going to go and all of a sudden it jumps up here. Those one, two, jump up high. And this here, ladies and gentlemen, are the French Pyrenees or mountains. OK, and look, and when you hover over it, if you see above there, that's that little blue line. It's not even the Pyrenees. It's something over there at this this high peak over here, some mountains in Spain. And you see that line over there. So, for example, let's say I wanted to do a touch and go. Touch and goes are the safe points in this flight, because if you crash and you're halfway there, uh, you know, you don't want to start from the beginning. You want to do touch and goes to save so that if you crash and go back to one to an airport, you did a touch and go on. But if you want to refuel, you have to land, stop the airplane of a parking brake on for like 10 minutes and then take off to, you know, to, and you, you can just use the in-game, in uh, uh, um, the in-game um, refueling in the plane. You don't have to quit and go back. This is not going to go high altitude airways because the airplane I'm using, okay, the, the rule for this is you can only use general aviation airplanes, single propeller, not turboprop. So you can't go very high without a turboprop, right? So, and only, and no airplanes, third party airplanes, only airplanes that come with the default Microsoft Flight Simulator or the deluxe version, whichever one you have. And if you look at this aircraft here, the Diamond Air, and, and another rule is you can't use the same airplane twice for each of these four um, races. So the last time I used the Cessna 172, which has a, a G1000 autopilot, this one here, Skyhawk. So I can't use that one again. So I'm using this one, which also has an autopilot, but look at that, max altitude 16,400 feet. On the day of the race, we're going to be using live weather, live, uh, live, um, live weather and live time. So basically, we're going to have to look at a website like windy.com. OK, this is windy.com. Bonanza, you can't you cannot use the Beechcraft Bonanza because apparently it's much faster than all the other single engine ones. So they 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 say you can't use that one either. It's all in the rules. Uh, a little bit higher it's over here and anyone can participate even if you don't want to be in the rankings uh, you can fly it together you know but uh, if you want to be in the rankings you should write uh, this gentleman over here and his partner uh, CDL and factual goal and you should uh, plead them please let me let me let me fly and I'm sure they will I'm pretty sure they, they will they will let you because they're very kind a uh, couple of very kind human beings a lot of people use the Sirius S22 because I think it does have autopilot and it's high performance. I don't have that because that's in Microsoft Flight Simulator Deluxe. But this, we're going to be looking at this website here, windy.com, because we're going to, uh, on the day of the flight, obviously, because we're going to see where the, where the wind's coming from. And you notice here, so we're going to be from, from there down here. But look at that. Maybe if, you, if we divert it this way here and we look at the elevation down here. Um... What is this stuff? I don't even know. Okay, here's surface. So if we went to like, for example, uh, 1,500 meters to oh, like 5,000 feet, the wind changes, right? So you can see that there's quite a bit of wind coming on the sea here. That would give us a tailwind if we decided to go over the sea, but it's always risky then if you have to land, you know. Look at that really strong wind. This is today. I don't know if it, what is going to be, if it's this is regularly like this or what it's going to be on the day of the flights so all the way from France all the way down here to Dakar okay and uh, I think it's down here somewhere I forget there it is all right so we're gonna be looking at wind uh, you're gonna decide if you're gonna go over the desert not a lot of airfields here probably most of the airfields are on the coast here uh, and uh, that's what we're gonna be doing 
all that's going to be taken into consideration. I won't be racing, be able to casual fly-ins. Cool, yeah, you can join in in the flight. Uh, are we friends in, I think we're friends in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, right, Wild Craze? If not, can send me a, I'm hyper text. Hero, I don't know if they added, if they let you use more letters than 12 now, but I was forced to remove the E between the text there. Anything competitive is just needlessly stressful for me. Oh, for me too, and believe me, I am not doing this to compete. I'm doing this for the Doctors Without Borders, for Medicine Without Frontier, and just really for fun, because uh, when I did it the first time, that was a, uh, you know, CD raided me afterwards. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was fun. You know, I learned a lot. I met Iceberg there, and uh, I met some nice people, and, you know, once in a while, it's good to stay up all night and play video games, just like I did when I was a, a, a younger than I am now. So what, what better opportunity than do that together with a lot of people who are, you know, doing the same thing around the world instead of meeting in a Zoom uh, or Microsoft Teams or FaceTime or preferably you'd be using something like, uh, oh man, Jitsi. Okay, an open source solution to this meeting so that all the different governments are not spying and stealing all your data. But instead of meeting that, I just made a Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> cool, wow, Chris. No, yeah, no pressure, dude. If and when, when and if you remember, I'm there. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I saved that, right? I went to File, Export as Microsoft Flight Simulator Flight Plan. Now I go back here. And look at this. Did I do it already? Already did it. Okay. Uh, load, save, load. Double click. And boom, it's in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, let's say that we wanted to stop like before we crossed the Mediterranean here. Okay. So all I have to do is in the little nav map. I, I zoom into the, let's say we want to actually land at uh, Gibraltar. I think, is this Tangier? A Tangier, let's say. Okay. Let's say we, we want to land at uh, a, G a Gibraltar, okay, airbase, all right. So all I have to do to add that as a waypoint is I click once on the line, the other line, then I drag it, and then I click here over Gibraltar. Add airport AB to flight plan. Okay, done. Uh, I'll, I'll, say, I'll save flight plan again, and now export as Microsoft Flight Simulator flight plan. Uh, I thought I had selected a start position, but uh, let's do it again. Okay. And save, uh, replace. And now back here again, I just press space to load. Load that one. And boom, there is Gibraltar right there in our flight plan. And this will show up, we'll get loaded into um, our Garmin G1000 in this Diamond Aircraft uh, Delta Alpha 40 November Golf little glider cross between a glider and a fan. I have a fan here in New York. It's turned on right now because it's so hot. Air conditioner costs too much money and I don't like the feel of air conditioner when I'm home all the time. So I just, I just, I'm a little of a masochist in terms of heat. I just put fans on. Hey, Timmy! Sometimes just hanging out in the backseat is okay too. For sure. I completely agree with you. Timmy says, yes, we should use GTA for our work meetings. <laughs> the New York Times, I, 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 they didn't, maybe they took it from me, I don't know. But before the New York Times wrote this story about meeting in online games, I had written it. You know, I just, I don't want to just tweet my own horn here, even though that's exactly what I'm doing. But uh, uh, I had written this blog post and you can see the date there is the 25th of June. And later GT, uh, New York Times wrote one as well. But maybe, you know, everyone's thinking about the same things. A lot of people are blame making video games. So this is how you play with friends in GTA Online. I will probably be in GTA Online tomorrow. It'll be the evening for Europeans. Uh, but then uh, next weekend... Uh, Depending on how this race goes, I'll probably still do some GTA laugh attack. So here's how to do that, how to play GTA of your friends without hackers, which is possible. I completely agree, Timmy Thumb. They can try to run over your boss or blow up his car and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I hadn't done this either. I learned this with a Ford or Learn to Fly. So uh, there's a shot. Ford to learn to fly. There's a shout out. So I, that's that's the cool thing about um, 
that I really like about Twitch and about basically video games, streaming video games became my social media. I I was so tired of social media, of Facebook, and I see just people scrolling and scrolling and clicking on all the stuff that's engagement to, to you know to make money for the advertisers. So they use emotional content to get people angry. So they'll keep clicking and getting more angry and scrolling. I was so glad to leave all that behind and don't look at that stuff anymore and come play video games and, and talk to people and, 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 and learn from people uh, with video games that also tie into the real world. It's the cool thing about this game. Actually learn how to be a stuff about real pilots all right so let's try it Let, uh, this is just i'm gonna definitely put more airports here okay but let's see if we can get over there i mean it's not gonna happen in one flight right now but i'm just want to see how this works okay because it will track our plane as we're flying look how many airports are out there and there's like two million options for this stuff when you zoom in you can turn it on and off you can turn uh, from the google maps to to google maps terrain if you want to make it a little bit uh you know a little bit easier you can turn all this uh ils i think uh quarters on but right now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go here and uh i am live weather now but uh, i'm not gonna put live weather because uh i don't want to be flying at night in, in a thunderstorm on the day of the of the of the flight is gonna be eight in the morning in paris okay it'll be two two in the morning six hours back here in new york city and uh let's uh let Let's put uh let's put like some broken clouds now. Okay. And uh and let's go. Let's click fly. Hey Pat! Evening sir, happy day, a very happy day. England just beat Germany 2-0 in the Euros, and not only did beat them, they did it in a Wembley football is coming home. That is amazing. I I have a one-two boss for the British team. I'm very happy they beat Germany. I, I'm always happy when Germany loses. Uh, you know, not just in World War II, but in soccer too, because, you know, Brazilians were so humiliated by by the Germans in the last World Cup there that um, I'm just always going against the Germans. <laughs> Even in flight sims, you know, I, I can't I, I can't fly the BF 109s or the Falk. I like the Falk Wolves, but I, I, I don't fly them. I, I prefer flying with the Allies. But, you know, I have friends from Germany and uh, I love that we can all be friends now, but... Uh, but good, good work, good work. Uh, one, two, boss for the, for the, for the British team. Two zero, excellent. Any penalties? Or was it pure football? I'm drinking iced coffee. The weather in New York City calls for iced coffee, not hot coffee. Just gotta remember to hydrate because coffee dehydrates even though it's liquid caffeine will dehydrate you people england are now the odds on favors to win the euros no penalties excellent yeah i i, I hate penalties i i, I just like ah oh, yeah such a i just wish they would play for longer and just you know these guys are paid to run a lot keep them running Okay, I just want to get a feel for. Whoa, see that? Those like, those like, that was a kind of a mystery. Those like, someone, <laughs> the pilot was there. Where's my track IR? Track IR is activated. Wonderful, wonderful. Of Sheepa to come in, give a gift to Galaxia Cat. Foxy Gingerbread has a, had a cheer, a follow from Whitomic earlier today. And here we are. I'm gonna turn, take off, and I'm gonna take a bearing of roughly. Well, what what is that? Where is the thing? Like uh, my thing is back there. Two six zero, I think. And we'll be able to see our airplane flying here because look at this little nav map. Look at that. It gets the information from Microsoft Flight Simulator. And all these little airplanes that are parked there, all this stuff, it's all tracked in little nav. Na look, there's a Britain on being to Islander out there. It's all tracked by little nav. It's pretty amazing, huh? So let's take off and let's head south and just see how this plane is feeling. Uh, all right. Give me one second. I'm going to go to game. Um, this is looking good, I think. That's fine. Okay. 
Maybe we'd fly around Paris a little bit while we're while we're flying here. Turn this music down a little bit. And turn on Microsoft Flight Simulator a bit higher. All right. Uh, activate uh, track IR. Parking brake is released and we're off. The, those runway textures looking a little the size of this airport. It's kind of like dr driving a car in a highway instead of a you know a country lane. Bat says three lions on the shirt for a reason, and the lions roar tonight. Roar! Roar! Okay, it's too loud from the outside. That. Okay, let's let's acknowledge that. Let's t turn to self departure. To call tower, hypertext hero one, continue for self departure. And here we are. It is you notice the flight plan that we made in little nav map is loaded here automatically loaded into our Garmin uh, G1000. We're a little off course, but uh, I want to fly by Paris a little bit because look at this lighting over here. And where is Paris? I know Charles goes a little bit far from it, but uh, let's try to find Paris. Maybe it's in the distance over there. That might be the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I think that's the Eiffel Tower. Let's go fly by Paris. I don't think I've actually flown by Paris on stream yet. Ever since this was added, uh, let's put the, the flaps up. Let's check if there's any indications that uh, the RPM's a little high. This airplane, I have to keep managing the... Uh, the RPMs of the throttle, I don't know how to do it otherwise. I don't know where the RPM control is. I, I was supposed to have turned that on before I took off and I didn't, so I'll just leave it off now. Uh, position lights is on, strobes is on, taxi uh, off, landing I can turn off now. Let's not go to fake Paris now. No, that, that is Las Vegas. I, I, I'm going to go there eventually, but uh, I flew by Las Vegas. I didn't go down in the strip. I wanted to do that and, and play uh, ACDC while flying over there. But um, I forget. I think something happened with my Islander or I ran out of time. I forget what happened, but we didn't do that. But so for now, we're just going to Paris. We'll go have a nice French onion soup. A bottle of red, like a half a liter of red wine, and uh, and maybe a, I don't know, some French fries with mussels. <laughs> that looks like the Eiffel Tower, there, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's Sacre Coeur over there, or no, not Sacre Coeur. That's the one on the hill. What's that one called? Uh, one sec. Uh, Valkyrie says that during the Great War, they built a copy of Paris a bit up north to evade the invaders. Oh, yeah, I remember that story. They, they did that a lot, right? They, they would actually... How crazy that war... What, the crazy things war uh, makes people do, you know, build whole fake looking objects that look like the real ones so that the bombers would bomb that instead. I think they did that in England, too. And Bat says that there's a dancing and partying in Britain tonight. Finally, this country has something to feel good about, and it comes from our national team. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I, I think it is good, especially after the pandemic and all this past few years. It's been a bit of a mess, you know. Uh, that's good. I'm glad that England won. There's probably going to be a lot of partying tonight, I'm sure. The Italians, when they usually win these things, they jump in the fountains, you know. They go out, eat a lot of pizza, a lot of pasta, drink a lot of wine, some beer. And Shippa says, Le Place de la Concorde. Yep, that's, uh, that's somewhere out there, right? I mean, I know Paris not super well, but I spent like a week in a photo workshop there once. I know that that church on the hill there, it's not Sacre Coeur, it's something else. I forget the name right now. But that's very, very nice view of the city. There's the Louvre. Let's go see the Louvre. Yep, the Mona Lisa's in there. 
you have the uh, you have the Ach Lach der Triumph and uh, and a bunch of uh, wonderful food and and art and and uh, and history in this part of the world. Yeah, Lac de Triomphe is close to it, right? And we have uh, the Montparnasse. We have the, I think that's the Louvre, that triangle there. And uh, what's the big avenue called? I forget what that's called. Yeah, the only way I can manage that RPM is with the throttle. Look, I'm at 30 low now of the RPM. And I'm at the yellow still. It wants me to go even lower. I'm going to have to figure out uh, if there's a reason for that, that I, I can control the RPM. Where's Icebird when you need him? He's on vacation. <laughs> it's a long road between them. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Funny seeing the cities from Assassin's Creed of New Perspective. Yeah. I know there was an Assassin's Creed set in Rome. I started playing it, but that, back then I, I was going to go traveling and my computer at the time was really crappy, so I couldn't play it. But I want to play that one again because I lived in Rome for many years. I think it was Assassin's Creed 3 uh, Brotherhood or something. And that, it's, that's the, yeah, I love the Assassin's Creed series, this mixing also of reality and architecture and art history with with um, of the real world with a fictional setting that you can climb and jump off of to you know to take out the, some enemy guards and there's the Paris is the French Revolution one I heard that one is good too and I think I got that one for free for either Epic Games or Steam uh, yeah, it's it's a wonderful series. I, I I'm glad that it's going strong, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, Paris. We have Exponent Image 440 out there. Trinkets 720. You can buy a lot of trinkets in Paris. That's for sure. Asobo Studios. If you're listening, here's a request. I want to be able to individually change engine volume outside the airplane and inside the airplane will be better for stream because sometimes outside the airplane it's like ear splitting and then inside the airplane it's too if you turn it down outside then inside the airplane is uh, too low so it'd be nice to be able to do to turn the, the volume down individually look at the size of the city paris is huge huh? it's not a vertical city like new york or you know São Paulo, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a sprawl, but it's nice. And here you go. I forget the name of this. It's not Sacre Coeur, but it's a, it's a nice place. Yeah, I've been to Paris a few, when I was a kid a couple of times, and then uh, doing a workshop for a week, like about eight years ago. I did a workshop of a photographer by the name of Richard Calvar, Magnum Photos. That was a fun week. All I did was take photos and then meet the next morning and edit and choose the best photos. And, uh, and repeat and have good food in between, you know. There you go. There's the nice steps over there. I totally forgot the name of this, but... Uh, it's a very nice, this is, this is where I stayed, it was around here. A little, a little glitchy the frame rate, but, you know, you're over, you're over. Sacre Coeur is, so that's Sacre Coeur, but isn't that the one that burned down? Because this is not the one that burned down. This is the one on the hill. Or maybe the one that burned down is not Sacre Coeur, and, and I'm, uh, I'm confused. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower. Oh, you're right. Okay, so this is Sacre Coeur. So we're both right. I was right, but I was second guessing myself. So Notre Dame burned down. Not completely, thankfully, but quite a bit. And this is, uh, that's Sacre Coeur. Okay, Sacre Coeur is beautiful. And wow, what a crazy thing. You can fly over the city, you know, even the frame rate gets lower. And you'll notice if I go to little nav map, 
It's tracking my position. It's, tra it's tracking my flight. It's tracking my fright, little nav map, which is cool. So I have a few things running over here. That's right, yep. Yeah, it was Notre Dame. I was confused. It's Notre Dame burned down, and, uh, and that's when the Assassin's Creed uh, uh, Ubisoft gave away, I think it either Epic Games or in Steam, the Assassin's Creed uh, set there for free because it has a very nice rendition of... Uh, of Notre Dame. Sacre Sacre has a lot of vinegar and selling stuff whenever the place just walks by the pack up and hide until the cops turn their backs. Yeah, it's a cat and mouse game, right? The, in Rome, it's the same thing. You know, you can buy a, a Rolex or a Gucci bag on the street for 20 bucks instead of 20,000. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is a total, it's a cat and mouse game. Here you go, Larc de Triomphe. There's an old video of some someone driving a Ferrari really early in the morning, an old school Ferrari really early in the morning around Paris. And they drive around all these places. Pretty cool video. And here's the famous Eiffel Tower. My favorite movie featuring the Eiffel Tower is uh, A View to a Kill with uh, Roger Moore as 007 and, uh, and that wonderful uh, bad guy actor. Christopher Walken and there there was uh, uh, Grace Jones played one of the hench she was a henchwoman for the for the bad guy and she and and Roger Moore goes all the way, the way to the top and and then she jumps off on a parachute he jumps off he, he jumps into the lift to go after her and then he steals a car and that's a wonderful car chasing he like like backs he like reverses on a it's kind of grand theft auto he reverses down a down some steps and almost runs over some some people selling stuff and then crashes it and lose makes it into a coupe by losing the the top of the car by 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 crashing into one of those things that those barriers metal barriers and then he jumps into the river or something it's really crazy Never ever drive or cross the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, and Microsoft Simulator too because your engine stops. You can't. I, I've tried flying under the Eiffel Tower, offline, and my engine just stops. We could try a landing here, maybe on the maybe right on that bridge leading out to the Eiffel Tower. That could be fun. Should we try that? Chipo says the older Bond films are the better ones, particularly the ones with Sean Connery. Yep, I, I agree. The older are awesome. Although I have to say, uh, every, most people like Sean Connery best. I like Roger Moore best because it was just some of the first James Bonds I feel I saw were with Roger Moore, and and I, he was more funny, you know. He was it was a bit more of a comedy. The James Bond films with Roger Moore. Sean Connery was a bit more serious, but but yeah, wonderful Bond as well, right? Let's try to land there. I'm just going to miss that thing, whatever that's called. I'm going to try to land on that bridge leading up to the Eiffel Tower. And then we'll see how fast we can make this thing stop. Okay, flaps uh, to landing. 98 knots is the landing speed according to that. Cross check. The flaps seem to be down. Wild Craze had the engine stop under a couple of bridges. After that, I gave it trying to be cool. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think the only way you can do it is if it's a custom, uh, a third-party bridge that they actually the set the automatically generated ones even the ones with photogrammetry they the in, the underneath it it's um, it's considered a block or something that will break your engine so it's unfortunate but that seems to be the the case for now i mean it's a massive game right so it's a massive undertaking all right i have no idea if this is going to work And I might be going too fast. The frame rate's really choppy for me right now. Really choppy. I think I'm going to have to go around again. This is way too choppy. Because I'm also running little nav map. I think we're just going to keep... Look at that lighting. It's really beautiful. I'm going to keep running. I'm going to turn on little nav map so you can get a little bit more frame rate. I'm going to just turn that off. And see if I get a little more frames without a little nav map running here. 
and I'll turn off this stuff too. Close those tabs. Hey, Joey, how's it going? Bonjour, monsieur. Comme ça va, mon ami? Ça va bien, merci. Comme ça va tout? Je suis sous Paris. I used to speak French these days. If I speak French, Italian comes out or Roman comes out. Okay, cut power to the engine, put the nose up to lose power. It did say like 98 knots, so I'm going to be stalling here. But uh, we're going to try to land by the Eiffel Tower and, and, and see if we can break this thing. Because this thing, uh, I was having a little trouble stopping this one too, even though it looks really, really light. How are you, Joey? One, two, boss to Joey. I can't do the one, two, boss now because I'm attempting a weird landing here. What the heck is that thing? Weird, like some sort of sculpture. Whoa, whoa, watch the left wing, watch the right wing now. Watch the car. Oh, and it went through the bridge. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's that. Très bien. Je ne parle pas français. Je parle un petit peu de français. Nope, can't, the bridge, uh, there's no collision modeling, it can't, uh, it just went through the bridge, so I thought it was going a bit hard, but it didn't, it just, uh, did you see that it went through, so couldn't do much for that, but uh, let's go back to little nav map now, because I think Microsoft Flight Simulator actually crashed, oh no, here we go, it's coming back, mon dieu, Can I swear in French? Putain! <laughs> All right, let's let's try. Let's go back to little nav map quickly because that's uh, what that's what I've been doing here. Okay, I am planning this flight for Friday. I'm gonna do this crazy thing again. I'm gonna do a 20 hour, maybe more, maybe a little less stream. And little nav map helpfully remembers what you did last and loads it up. So if this aeroplane here, with the Diamond Aircraft DA-40NG, we have ourselves, here, let's put maximum fuel, no co-pilot, and uh, we have our, here, I already exported that, so let's load the previous one and see what, what it looks like. We have with this airplane, a range of theoretically 940 nautical miles. I think it's going to be less than that. And I've read up a little bit and it says that the one in Microsoft Flight Simulator is, it doesn't simulate all the tanks of this one that goes really far or, and it's something in between the one that goes really far and the one that goes closer. I'm not sure I understand, but, but based on Microsoft Flight Simulator on this range, look, we can, we could theoretically fly all the way to Gibraltar before we land. For refueling, I'll do touch and goes on the air on the things there. Merde, Lord, merde! Oh no, that's the Italian. It's like a combination of Italian and French. So you merde in, in, it's in French, and you do this, which is the what the heck are you doing in Italian? You know, like a, it's like a prayer. You know, like a, a <laughs> merde. <laughs> All right. Okay, so so I, I set one thing. Okay, I set the Gibraltar. Let's try to set. Let's try to fly. Uh, let's put a cup over here. We're gonna do touch and go. So I do want. I, I want to add touch and goes to the flight plan. Let's do a couple of touch and goes. Uh, let's do one uh, in the middle of France, one in near the Pyrenees and near Pamplona, and one in the middle of Spain. There. So this is how I would do it. I would zoom in here. Maybe this, this natural park, or well, we have like Bordeaux there of good wine to the southwest, I think. But oh, tundra! All right, let's uh, let's let's see. Uh, Biar de l'FBI, Le Blanc, Chauvin. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this. Click once, just click once on this line, and then I can move it around. And I'm gonna click on Chauvigny, and then it's gonna boom. Chauvigny is added to the ply plan. Okay, now I'm gonna go back, and now let's do right here in the north corner of the Pyrenees. So there's Itsasu. Let's click on the yellow line. Let's click on that. Itsasu, boom, that's added to the flight plan. And then let's go uh, here to uh, 
See, you, you do touch and goes. You don't have to refuel on all of them because the touch and goes are a safe point. So you don't have to start from before, okay? Let's do one in Garle. And I should probably do more up there, but I'm just going to give you a an example here. Over there, Okana. Man, I really want to fly right now. <laughs> How you do? You can't fly now, Joe. You 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 you're, you're a work or something, right? Yeah, let's let's set one close by so we can do it now, okay? I'll set one close by to Paris. Let's see, uh, Mont Desir. Here you go. Do one there. Oh no. Control Z for undo. Click. I love undo. All right. One over there. We can do one down here somewhere. I'm just going to do a bunch of touch and goes to get those save points. Whenever you see an airplane, that's the that's part of the fun of it. You you see a you see an airfield to do a touch and go, you know. So it's a little off course that one, but uh, let's do it. Okay? And that that's just that leg. Then uh, we could probably do one uh, here. And uh, and then over here, this is going to be the interesting part because then not as many airfields. You're out of Europe. You're into Morocco down here. Okay, tourisme. We'll go there. Uh, we're probably going to stay by the coast here. And uh, then we're going to get to Mauritania and then it's really going to... It's, it's really going to become few and far between the, the airfields around here. Look at that, Mohammed the fifth. We'll put one there. And look at that, there's not a lot of airfields around here. We can choose to go over to Sahara, we can try to stay on the coast, maybe better wind there, I'm not sure how that's gonna be. Let's try over to Sahara. One there, one there. We'll put one here. I'm just doing, I'm, I'm gonna definitely modify this. I'm just doing it quickly to give you a feel for what I'm doing here. One here. And, uh, and look at that. And then there's big deserts here. Am I going to go through the desert? Am I going to follow the coast? I don't know. For now, I'll just uh, go through the desert. Western Sahara. And uh, then let's maybe can break over to the coast, try to get some tailwind there if that's what's happening. Then maybe one more touch and go here. And uh, let's save. I'm working trying to cut the distractions, but I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I completely understand you, man. When I was working in an office, I, you know... You can't, I don't know. I don't care what they say. You can't work eight hours a day in, or seven or more than four max, I think, and focus on your work. It's it's just not doable unless it's something that you really love, you know. Then you can get into the flow. Export as Microsoft Fly, Flight Simulator start plan. It keeps saying start position. Let's get. Let's just put it at gate A1 or or ramp. I want a ramp because I'm a general aviation. I think. Oh, here you go. Parking 20. Just gonna. Okay. And uh, save. Yeah, I'm going to replace it. And now I'm going to back here. I press space. Hopefully, just load safe or you click here. Load. Charles de Gaulle, Lima, Foxtar, Papa, Golf 2, Leopold, Sedar, Senghor, Golf, Oscar, Oscar, Yankee, or as I've been calling it, GUI. And boom, look at that. What an awesome thing little nav map is. If you haven't used it, go try it. If you like it, donate. It's an awesome utility. It's a wonderful companion to Microsoft Flight Simulator because you can so easily use real-world data to plot a flight plan. Okay, I'm going to click Fly. Let's see what happens. It And look at that. What is this? Oh, there's a big mountain here in Africa. It's even taller than that one in Spain. Look at what is this? It's around here. So you can see how high you're going to be here. And I'm hovering over this. And let me make sure you're seeing this. On the left there, as I hover over the left, it shows the elevation. So maximum will be about uh, 5,000 feet, I think, more or less. A bit over, about 6,000 feet, maybe. six, 7,000 feet over there. Good to know that stuff because, uh, you know, if you're, if you're in an airplane that only goes 14,000 feet and you see a 20,000 feet mountain, you're going to have a problem. Man, I, I'm bare, I, I, bare, I, I know the basics. I learned this with Forder Learn to Fly with, uh, you know, Icebird. I've, I've barely learned uh, 
there, there's so much there's so much and there's mods for it i just installed google satellite map uh, today uh i got that from here let me show you real quick uh, so that you can see where i got the the satellite map from where was it downloads no desktop where was it Ah, oh, I forgot. I'm going to have to zoom up afterwards and put the link. Here, this is how you add uh, Google Maps to, to little nav map. It's really easy. Just follow the instructions there. Your bandwidth is too low for data streaming. You have been switched to offline mode. I'll, I'll click OK, but I'm, I'm going to turn on my, my, my... That's funny. What's going on with Spectrum over here? I'm going to go back to general options. Data. Delimitation uh, off and Bing Data World Graphics on. Thank you. I think I remember to play to pay the internet bill. <laughs> we'll find out. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the host. I think that was a host. Mystical, I'm doing good. How are you? Wildcrace says I. Re Wildcrace says. I remember, I remember long ago, ago long, long time, ago, time, ago, time ago, trying to, trying fly, to fly Himalayas, Himalayas with a little prop. Couldn't get, couldn't get enough get lift enough to, to go, go above, 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 so I went so through a maze of valleys. valleys. <laughs> awesome! I love that. I love. Uh, I love uh, that. That that's a thing that's simulated here, right? I'm doing good, mystical. Gonna switch to a little War Thunder later, but uh, I've just been showing people how to plan a flight. Because that's what I'm doing for the the upcoming Paris the Car Air Race, uh, hosted by organized by CDL with General Aviation aircraft, and so I'm just uh, get, get, and uh, I never I don't have much experience at all, almost zero. Today was the first time I flew this airplane of this uh, DA40 Diamond aircraft. It has an autopilot, and um, here we go. Electric on initializing system looks like MS DOS. I'm about to play like SOP with or something. And I'm gonna put uh, the engine on, fuel pumps are gonna be on, avionics master on. Ah, monsieur, clear the propeller, clear the propeller. What stick to use? I use a, um, I have to write a review. Oh, look at that thing. I have to write a review of it. It's that two-story airplane over there. I use a Gladiator NXT. Ionic 99 Gemello. Boa tarde. Good, good evening. How are you doing? So it's a, a, a VKB Gladiator NXT. That's the stick I use. It's very nice stick. I love it. All right. Let's uh, put on the strobe lights. Put on position lights. Put on tax lights. Let's turn everything on here. Okay. Flaps uh, are up. I'll just keep them up because I don't even think we're going to need flaps on this thing. And I have no clue where I am here. I'm just going to zoom up with the view a little bit. And let's find out. It's Charles de Gaulle is a, is a giant airport, you know. We're going to find out where we're going to take off from. I'm going to just call air traffic control right from here. I'll chew the gold ground. Request taxi and depart straight out. It's... It cost about 120 bucks for the regular one, 150 for the... For one that comes... A, some extra springs and stuff that you can use to modify things. Uh, I'm very happy with it. It's a, it's a wonderful stick. But I can also recommend if you want to spend a little less money, although it's not, actually it's not much less these days because sticks cost so much money. The T-Flight Hottest X is, is fun as well. Wow, that's crazy. Look, look, look at this. It's like a. I'm gonna have to find where that. So I have to go to 26R. This is 9R. 
Let's see, where, where's 26 R? Well, it's going to be all the way here. So we're going to have to... Can I take off and land by the where I have to go? And can I take off on the taxiway and land by the other taxiway? Charles de Gaulle, uh, big... Uh, uh, did you say 26 R? There you go. Have to go. Oh, that's 27. Where's 26? Where the hell is 26? Or is it a mistake? Is there a 26 R? I'm confused now. Chipa says, I'm getting okay at flying, but taxi is complete mystery to me. <laughs> I know there's so many. I mean, look at this. I'm all the way over here. They told me 26 R. I think it's an, a, a, a might be a mistake with the thing. Let's look in little nav map. I'm gonna zoom in to Charles de Gaulle, and we'll switch to Google Maps satellite so we can actually see a picture of the real airport there. We're over here. Twenty-seven. Is it a Microsoft Flight Simulator bug? Because there is no runway twenty-six here unless it's somewhere else. Oh, oh, here it is. Got it. Thanks, Wild Craze. How the hell am I gonna taxi all the way there? Did you did you should we try to do this? All right, so we have to <laughs> we're gonna have to drive basically go for a for a commute before we can take off. By the time we're ready to take off, we're gonna have, have almost no fuel left. So basically, we're gonna have to go. Wait. I just hope you stretched your legs. I don't, I'm, I'm standing up right now because I'm on a standing desk. The cool thing about the Gladiator Next is that it has a... It has a twist. Okay, this is the stick I'm using right here. So I can twist this. And that's your rudder. So then I can, uh, I can stay up here and I can do one, two, jump! You know, easily because I'm not sitting down. All right, so... Taxiway, let's just try follow directions and see if it gets us there, okay? That'll be, it'll be a mystery, okay? Taxi, hold short, using taxiway MA. Okay, so taxiway, let's see. This is BM4. Is it going to be behind us, maybe? Oh, there you go. There's M and then A. Does anyone know how to... I usually use the in-game VFR map for taxiing, let's see. We're going to have to get all the way down there. So I'm just going to try to drive there. I'm going to turn right. I'm going to go all the way here. Then I'm going to turn, go down. I'll probably get shouted at. And we're going to try to go all the way over there. You are from Brazil. I am originally from Brazil, from the Rio Grande do Sul. But it's been years since I've been or lived there. Bom dia de Belém. Excellent. I'm from Passo Fundo, Rio Grande do Sul. Let's go. You know, the Brazilians, they have a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of aviation history in Brazil. Can I just jump down here over this ledge? Let's try. There's a Santos Dumont with the 14 Bs, so the early, very early aircraft. Let's try to taxi all the way. <laughs> now it all makes sense, Joey says. <laughs> We're going to keep taxiing, ladies and gentlemen. And let me make sure that... Uh... Oh, shit. Sorry. Excuse me. Let, let me break here and let me set. I, I want to give a, you a better view for this taxi. Okay, so let me let me set uh, the drone view here. Let's get let's give ourselves uh, a drone view. And uh, 
A hundred quid, yeah. Yeah, I mean, sticks are expensive right now. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all right. It, it is expensive. You can use a bit of language over here, you know. As long as you don't the, are not every other word, you know. <laughs> Embraer 190, one of my favorite planes. Uh, I, is it a passenger plane? I don't know that one. Is available for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You know what's out? Uh, Ionic 99 de Melo. Whoa, little jump over there. What's out right now? There's an Ipanema agricultural aircraft that came out, and that looks like a really beautiful a beautiful uh, little airplane to get I'm probably going to get it, it's about 14 bucks it's not expensive I think I'm going to get that and uh, and that just came out I think like 2-3 weeks ago I have to check out this Embraer this, this is a very tricky airplane to taxi because it's differential braking. You have to use the brakes. The rudder, the rudder doesn't have a lot of authority because uh, that's just the way it's, it seems to work. So it's a little tricky. Yeah, the speed bumps. I haven't tried a CRJ. No, I prefer the I prefer the general aviation bush planes. I love the my favorite airplane, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I was the BN2 Islander that I used to fly uh, in when I was a kid. In Brazil, uh, between Bra Rio de Janeiro, Brasilia, Goiás, Bahia, because it can land anywhere. And I love planes, uh, little general aviation airplanes that can land anywhere. Oh, look at some World War II trucks over here. This looks like, like targets in Altus Termovic. Look at those trucks. Simple planes to fly. I would recommend uh, the Cessna 152, the basic default Cessna, which is what the tutorial. There's a tutorial about flying, and that Cessna is uh, is the probably the most basic plane, one of the most basic ones. I recommend you learn of that one. You follow the tutorial. And um, oh yeah, Icon is amazing. It looks like a car more than an airplane, and you can land on water of that one, which is really cool. Adama 2 out here. Very tricky to taxi this thing with the differential braking. I'm just, I just have brakes mapped. I don't know because I'm not using rudder pedals. I don't even know if Microsoft Flight Simulator lets, lets you map different uh, brakes to different uh, toes and stuff like that. Yeah, the Icon is a lot of fun. It, it feels like a car more than an airplane. There's Adama 2 taking off on a big, look like a 747. And we're down here. There's some Peugeots over here. There's some Renaults. There's some Citroën CVs down here, maybe. We're in Paris. You know, there may be some French cars. I haven't noticed if they... I think the cars are the same all the, over the world. It would be cool if someone did a mod that, you know, in France, you have the French cars. And in the States, you have the cars that are like have wheels uh, that, that are too big to fit on the, on the, on the road. Oh, oh. Look at that. Almost going to hit my wing there. Oh, that was close. Yeah, wow. What 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 a endeavor to taxi around uh, this this airport, huh? Look, am I going on the road for the cars? I think this is I think this is airplane road. The cars are just coming down underneath it. I don't know. Probably one of the most complicated airports in the world, from what I'm seeing here. I mean, maybe LAX and stuff like that are also... Okay, now the big moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Will we be able to cross this bridge? Okay, I'm going to stop right here. I think I might be on a... Oh! <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm in a road for cars here. I don't know if... The... I think the taxiway is to the left. I'm going to just try to go anyway. Oh! Is it going to crash? 
Okay, there's no collision monitor. Let's go. Just, just turn around. Oh, and that truck just smashed into me. Let's get into the taxi. This is a taxi. I was on a car thing. You can see how much of an amateur I am. <laughs> if you're a real pilot, close your eyes, okay? Atlanta's a bit nuts. <laughs> oh! And the famous, the, in, well, the infamous uh, C key that I lose control from drone via. Sneaking Dodo out there. Sheep are coming in, ladies and gentlemen. I see them up there over the terminal. Yeah, I've been in Atlanta in real life like once, I think, on the airport. And it looked like a, it looked like a forest of Delta or American Airlines or both uh, airplanes. There's so many airplanes. What a crazy place. What's going on, Mr. Cole? <laughs> You're not the, this is looking a little, a little suspect, this taxiing. Huh? I think I'm not even supposed to be here with a light airplane. I'm not sure. But... Uh, Oh, hold position, copy that. Let's acknowledge that. Hypertext Hero 1, continue taxi. Roger, Hypertext Hero 1. Okay, that's cool that they actually model like it telling you to hold position. All right, where are we? Let's see, where are we? Um... Okay, we're here. I wanted to go all the way there, but I guess we'll just go around here and then go down there. Let me hydrate because this is, you know, the, the, the taxiing is longer than the, f the flight. And this is a good uh, example of, you know, living, what living in cities does. You have commuting, you have taxiing. All right, I got control, let's go. It's a taxing taxi. <laughs> Wild Cray says, I've heard people telling it can be intimidating waiting for takeoff in a little single engine piston prop and having four jumbo jets lined up behind. Oh, that, that would be... I mean, for I, I would just for me, I wouldn't be I wouldn't really care about what the pilots or the tower think. I'd be like, yeah, Yo, you guys wait, you know, like to wait your turn. But what would make me concerned is that uh, I'd worry that the the plane wouldn't see me because you're so small and the jumbo jet is like 20, 30 feet higher. And I, I, I'd be worried that they'd run me over and also be worried about uh, about the turbulence if the jets were taking off in front of me. But from behind, you know. A little tour of Shores de Gaulle. Yeah, jets are... I have not tried a jet yet. Not even a Learjet. But, uh... I just prefer small airplanes. I, I wouldn't want to fly a jet in real life uh, for a job. It's just so much... Whoa, a little jump there. It's just so much... Uh, so much work, I feel. It's a lot because most of it is autopilot, you know, and so many checklists and so much responsibility of like, you know, 100, 200 people sitting behind you. That would make me stress. That would make me get gray hairs fast. <laughs> that fixes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that. I haven't flown jets at all, actually. I, I should fire up a jet at some point just to try one. Maybe a, one of the small ones, but I I, sh I should fly the seven four seven just to see what it's like, you know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's like, well, he didn't hold position. Let's just tell him to continue. So. I have to. What I what I really have to do is learn learn to read these these uh, these signs. Okay, that's F over there. He had said uh, F, R, R, 1. Okay, so we're F right now. Then we have R and R, 1. Okay, so maybe... Uh-oh, he's confused now. Who's coming? Planes hover over there? I think he's just confused. I'm just gonna go.
Hypertext here one, did you copy? Yes, I copied, but I'm using two hands. One to control the airplane, one to control this thing. I need three hands and one to control the the view, the camera view here. I am at a landing challenge with a jet, but lining it up is a problem. Do you have trim mapped? Shipa trim is really important, I think, for mo most of the airplanes, especially the jets, I would imagine. Watch out not to clip those little blue lights. And Wildcray says, I actually wanted a Dash 8, but after my initial disappointment, I found the side, the inside of the A320 being similar in layout, so I'm not going in that one. The Dash 8 is the de Havilland, right? I, th I know a lot of people like those planes, and, and I actually flew in a CRJ when I went to Michigan now, I flew in a couple of CRJs, a 700 and a 900. Looks just like the one in Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> So I was thinking maybe I should because I fly in those planes and I go to Michigan, you know, and and I know there's I've flown in a Dreamliner before. I don't have the deluxe edition of this, so I don't have the Dreamliner, but that could be a fun plane, I guess, if I was going to fly the jets. But I just love the small airplanes. That's where my. Uh, let's stop here and take a look real quick. That's F. I'm just going to continue. De Havilland. And Shipa used the T-16000. I have a, the thing mapped that I don't even know how to use yet. <laughs> yeah, it's... There's so many buttons in these sticks that mapping can be a, a challenge. I And I play a lot of video games, so that adds to it. So I try to, for all the video games, map the buttons in a similar way so that I don't get hopelessly confused, you know. You can dodo there. I don't know if he's in the landing challenge right now, but he's uh, over there where I'm going to take off, I think. That's where I'm supposed to go. What did I get myself into here? All right, let's stop here. I think it's going to be... There's N. What did she say? I'm just going to head to the right place. She said uh, that I'm on F now, so R and then R1. Oh, RN1 uh, that way. Oh, I'm just going to go over there. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Watch out for the bus. You're fueled up and ready to fly on the wing leader's wing. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, the wing leader is going on a, on a taxi and cruise here. Tour of Charles de Gaulle. Want to bus? <laughs> that was a bus. Planes hover. If you have a helicopter and the person, someone else doesn't have the helicopter installed, then you will see a, a plane hovering in the air. That's that mystery. I, d I don't know how many knots I'm cruising at now, but look at that. I mean, I could take almost getting to takeoff speed here, 50, 40, 50 knots almost. Some weird thing on the sky over there. I don't know if it's a glitch. We're going to meet Sneaking Dodo for this takeoff, ladies and gentlemen, and, and attempt another landing somewhere in Paris. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check my fuel tanks once I get there because after this taxiing, this used a lot of fuel. Wow. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I'm so confused right now of times and it's like a busy summer here. It's uh, 
I'm going to be cat sitting for someone I used to work with. And that means I'm going to be streaming from there while I'm cat sitting. And it's going to be a, a bit of an adventure, but it's going to happen. Look at this stuff. It's almost like a, a factorial level, this. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, sneaking Dodo very patiently, just hanging out here. Oh, we could keep going if you want. I don't have to land in Paris. We could just keep going to uh, to one of these airports that I'm going to do. I'm not going to fly to Dakar tonight. That, that That's like a... Sneaking Dodo, and I, and I think this is a Beechcraft Bonanza. <laughs> what a funny name for an airplane. Okay, let's talk to the tower. Let me hydrate a little bit. You have half the cash for a Bonanza? Cool. Looks like a cute airplane. I think I did a landing challenge with it in a Nice or something. Alright, here we go, people. Finally. I'm going to do a joint takeoff here with Commander Shipa, aka Flying Dodo or Sneaking Dodo. Is a dodo that maybe is a fan of stealth games. All right. And off he goes. And I'm going to go right behind him. Go. Flaps are up. Auxiliary fuel pump is off. This Garmin here is not on. There you go. And ladies and gentlemen, if I go into little nav map, we should be able to see both our airplanes here, I think. At least one of them. Maybe I have to be friends of Sneaking Dodo for him to appear. His airplane's gonna be much faster than mine. But yeah, we can try to land somewhere in Paris. What time is it? 3.16. I do have to... I would... Tomorrow I'm gonna do a long stream. Probably of GTA. In the afternoon session. Fly some planes in GTA, drive some cars. Um, but since I just came back from a trip, I do have a bunch of chores, a bunch of stuff to do. And, um... Not gonna be the fastest, the, the longest stream today. Let's head to Paris. Landing light can be turned off. As can the taxi light. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty uh, easy airplane to fly this one too. Oh, it does. Here you go. It does have a a, a, ma a manual pitch trim. That's interesting. I thought it was electronic, but it looks like a car too. You have the seat belts. What's this thing? Oh, the Hobbs meter. I've flown 21 hours in this flare? What, someone probably flew 20 and I've flown one or two or three. I don't think other players show yet limitation is in Sim Connect. Interesting. All right. Solid copy, tower. Frequency change approved to Hypertext Hero 1.
Oh, there he is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Sneaking Dodo. Let's uh, form up on him. In this beach craft. Bonanza. Bonanza. Some nice low clouds here for us to see. Got a flaps down. And I'm gonna turn off little nav map because I want to get as many frames as I can. And it, every Microsoft Flight Simulator, everything you have on will take away from your performance generally. On over cities. If you're not over a city, you should be okay. So I'm just gonna quit this real quick. Hopefully I, yes, quit. Hope I don't crash while I'm doing that. Where did he go? There he is. It's quite an agile little thing, this. Gonna pop in real quick and see if I see you guys. Copy that. Wow, Chris. Could follow the river. And another thing that I like about steam gauge airplanes that are not like these glass cockpit MFDs is that the frame rate's faster too. These MFDs, they, they take away from the frame rate over, uh, over uh, cities and stuff, for me at least in my system. I parked on your right, copy that. Oh, there you are, awesome. Uh, Shipa, let's uh, turn... Uh, right about 45 about 90 degrees and uh, do a low pass on 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 wild craze where is he different airport or we can keep going into the center of town and wild craze will join us but i just want to see uh where he is, do a little fly past. Oh, watch. I don't know this airplane if it likes being in the yellow too much. Probably not. So let me go down the throttle a little bit. What a crazy place. So many buildings, trains, airplanes, cars. Copy that. There's a bus about to run over your airplane. Or is it like they have passengers? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do a loop of this thing. I think aerobatics are probably prohibited. Yeah, not going to work. What happens if you try to do a loop? Okay, right wing dropped. That's a pretty docile recovery. Wow, I'm getting bad frame rate here. Taxi looks stressful, took a bus. <laughs> I don't know if it's choppy for you guys, but for me it's getting a little choppy now at frame rate. All right, we'll head to uh, we'll head to Paris. Well, let me climb a bit and see if the framer gets better from up there.
Haven't had bad frame rates like this for a while. Oh, no worries. Yeah, it's a pretty simple one to turn on, but it's a little odd because there's no fuel mixture, there's no uh, RPM control that I can find at least. Well, that looked highly illegal. <laughs> hey, Whiskey Canuck, how are you? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, I'm a, what you might call an air pirate uh, most of the time in these games. That's why I like the bush planes anyway. Uh, I probably wouldn't be able to keep my airplane and my flying license if I tried something like that in real life. That's one of the reasons I like video games. You can do some uh, things of questionable legality and and you're not gonna get in trouble you know is this that famous cemetery where like uh van morris uh jim morrison is buried and stuff or is this just like a bunch of little gardens buchan air <laughs> Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful graphics here. Over Paris, France, Microsoft Flight Simulator. As I get higher attitude, the frame rate does get better. It's when I'm down there that streaming all that data and uh, and things can slow down. And look at the lighting, just wonderful lighting. The moon's out there. The clouds are out there. I lost Sheepo, I think, was sneaking Dodo. Oh, he's behind me, okay. Gonna drop right on the bottom of this cloud here and try to find a, an interesting spot to land in the city. Guess I won't be playing Microsoft Flight Simulator right now. Need to update it. Yeah, there was a there was a there was an update of the Nord region or something and the Nordic region and I think an update off the update maybe. I had to download a, some data yesterday as well. All gray and rainy on my screen looks like Scotland. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put live weather be because I, I wanted to fly during the day. Here is, ladies and gentlemen, Shippa, aka Flying Dodo, his flaps down, probably to try to keep up uh, with my slow, slower flying diamond uh, DA40 here. Oh! And my frame rate, yeah, it's getting pretty low here. I know how it's looking for you all, but uh, I'm just flying around Paris. I'm going to. I want to find a place to land in Paris. And land. I'm just getting familiar with this airplane that I'm going to be flying for a 20-hour stream, starting Saturday night. And uh, we're going to start in Paris. So I'm just uh, take a look around the city. And uh, there's a place you think I should la land at. Uh, let me know. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm not going to be too long. This looks good over here. This looks like a good place to land. Isn't that the... It's a famous... Uh, I forget the name of, of that place, but... Uh, let's try to land here. Wow, my frame rate is, uh, is struggling here. It's also really hot in New York, so my computer, when it's really hot, the performance is going to get worse, you know. I don't know what it looks like on the stream, but for me, it's pretty choppy here. All right, flaps down. Or should we try to land by the Eiffel Tower, an iconic, try to find a spot by the Eiffel Tower to land?
Wow, this is... Let's try to find a spot by the Eiffel Tower. I think that's, I think that's right. I think that's Ver Ver Versailles. That's it. Right there. That's Versailles. I think that's what that is. Wow, frame rate's really tanked here. Hydrate, thank you, uh, Elias, one second. How are you, sir? Not sure if there's armor tonight. I have to ask the boys. Alright, let's take a look. Is there a place by the Eiffel Tower that we can land? We tried that bridge and we fell through it. That didn't work. But look, there's this here. I have a pretty nice photograph I took with the Eiffel Tower in it. I'll put a link to it after the landing or the attempted landing. I don't know if I'm going to stick it, but I'm going to try to land on those gardens leading up to the Eiffel Tower, okay? That's going to be it. So, a uh, landmark we can look at. And I think what's causing trouble to it, I'm going to turn off the avionics. Uh, can I turn off? There. That may give me a few more frames. We're going to land this blind. Let me just uh, make sure that my flaps are... Does the flap... Yeah, flaps down. Okay, flaps do come down if the battery power shut off. We're going to use this big building as a landmark. And then we're going to go around this big building and then head to the Eiffel Tower. And that should give us a good uh, uh, view of the, run, of the runway, so-called runway. Quite, quite illegal, as Whiskey Canuck put it. Elias says, I'm good, sir. Just taking it easy. That's good. I, I love taking it easy. Uh, I think this is a business district over here, if I remember right. There's some good bars over here, good cafes. Right in the stall horn here. Go around the building, try not to hit it with a wing, with the left wing. We got wild craze falling us in, and here we go. We're gonna try to land by the Eiffel Tower. I turned off all the multifunction displays, started giving me a few more frames per second here. Clip the building for the Eiffel Tower coming in too slow. Oh dear, okay. Yeah, it's a tricky one. It's kind of like landing in that same Barths. You have to like probably do a forward slip. But with the Bonanza, it's probably pretty tricky because I think it's a higher speed uh, airplane. You can just start from the air right on the Eiffel Tower again and try it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Let's see. I'm not familiar with this airplane either. All right. Try not to clip the building that Shippo clipped. You know, the one to a mess of this nice architecture over here. Oh, just missing the chimney of the wing. Okay, now forward slip on the rudder. Oh, just missed the other building. We're in the trees. And we're down. Full break, full break, full break, full break. Full break. Watch out for the car! Go! Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let me clear the runway here. The so called runway. <laughs> here comes Wild Craze. Let, let me clear the runway. Watch out, watch out for these French drivers, you know? They're, they're almost as bad as the, as the Maltese. Just kidding, okay. Okay, park and brake. Okay, wow. Whew. One, two, boss. Let me let me see uh, from the outside view, and then we can see uh, if what, the wild craze make it. Or, but you were in a bonanza. Huh? That's a much faster airplane. I just missed. I just missed this thing over here. And of the look at the frame rate. It's so slow right now. Wow, this looks like some sort of post-apocalyptic Paris, you know, this maybe Fallout 5 will be set in Paris, but look at this. Photogrammetry looks pretty weird from this angle over here. Did Wild Craze make it down? This looks like a post-apocalyptic version of Paris. The wilderness is taking back the city. <laughs> you know, there's this great book about what would happen if humans just disappear and 
how fast you know, nature would would take back things and i find it uh, that's strangely soothing you know the humans can't uh, <laughs> one two boss mass smart ass lieutenant smartest join us ladies and gentlemen how are you man all right okay well that's a pretty good uh it's a it's a fuel for this airplane it's good when you when you learn a new airplane to try you know like crazy stuff because then you learn the uh you learn uh the limitations the stall speed uh, what what you can get away with what you can't get away with and uh so i uh and that's the wonderful thing about flight simulators all right i did <laughs> Logan's Run? Oh man, that's uh, I haven't seen that movie. I heard a lot about that movie though. This, is that a set in France? <laughs> you like the one two boss? I was gonna redraw it, but people say they like it, so maybe I'll just leave it. Because I, I mean, it's not a drawing, it's just a uh, it's just like my you know, a, a screen capture of me going one two boss. Oh yeah, I saw that. It was when I was gone. I was confused. I was like, "What? Who's Sim Caesar?" And then I was like, "Oh, someone else gifted a smartass, the <laughs> lieutenant smartass, the the emo. That's awesome." Yeah, I follow his channel. I'm gonna check out his streams. Yeah, I've been. I was gone for like eight days. I'm back now. Oh, that's Logan's Run, Washington D.C. of nature. Haven't taken it back. He lives on the ground. Have you played Division Two? That's a fun one. All right, I did say, I, I said I was going to show you a photograph taken around here. I think it was, let's see, where was that photograph taken? I think it was taken uh, probably, probably around, yeah, around here. Maybe right around here after I landed. So let me see if I can find this for you and then I'll put it up on stream. Okay. Give me one second. Um, um, let's see, let's see. It was taken in Paris. Here it is. Let's see if we can find out where this photograph was taken with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I like street photography. I guess this is coming more into the art part. I call this art and play. Okay, it's a kind of a, I was doing this photo workshop in Paris of this photographer by the name of Richard Calvars and Magnum. And, uh, and it's kind of like a Bob Dylan looking character. Where did it go? And I thought the way he was dressed was quite striking with like, you know, shoes and no socks and this lot of little suit. And uh, that was taken right. Let's, let me try to zoom out here. Yeah, those photo workshops are, are wonderful experiences because you have to find the, 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 you have to find a photographer you like who's a good teacher, okay? Oh, here it goes. There's, there's even one of these little trees here. Oh, the sneaky double coming in for the landing. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I think he hit the, the water. Did you hit the water? Are you okay? Did you manage to stop? I have to lower the speed of this thing because I, I had... Of the drone because I had increased it before. <laughs> oh, come Paris. Hello, Foxy. <laughs> How are you doing? So yeah, I took this workshop in 2013. Richard Calvar, you know, good photographer. I mean, it depends on what you like, you know. If you like street photos, a candid black and white, excellent, uh, very nice, nice person, a good teacher. So it was around here, I think. You can see like this little thing here. Okay, and there was these little fences. Champ de Mars. Yeah, and there you can see like the, the trucks and the other, like the buses and the other tourists. So there you go. That's pretty good. I was just kind of got lucky there with the, with the drone camera. Maybe you can s s flip it around like that even. And this was 2013. Yeah, they are expensive. Uh, Shiba bounced. That, that plane will be hard to land here, I think. But 
Keep trying it. Bonanza. 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 Beachcraft. Bonanza. Bonanza. And who came up with this name? You know, Beachcraft Bonanza. You know, it's like a beach, but it's beach like a tree and it's a craft work of art that flies and a Bonanza. I don't know. <laughs> The really expensive one is to do one South America of Joe McNally. Joe McNally. I thought that didn't that person make maps or something? Or that's that's a different Joe, maybe. Is that the crazy one that did a bunch of stuff in New York? Sounds like a really high energy individual. I don't know. Maybe it depends, you know. Very, very colorful, you know. I think I if it's who I'm thinking about, I think I saw a picture of him from the top of the Empire State Building and changing the light there. It was pretty crazy. A oh, Rand McNally, okay, Joe McNally. Beach was the guy's surname? Awesome. Beach Craft Bonanza. That's what Sheep was trying to land here in. Let's see, anybody else coming back there? Look at the lights. Uh, the, the lights haven't turned on in Paris yet. They're trying to save electricity, maybe. Stearman, Beach, Cessna, and Piper all once worked for the same company. That is amazing. That's some really awesome aviation trivia here coming from Mat Matrog. And it makes sense, right? It's like golden, sort of golden age of aviation after the Second World War, or before the Second World War, during, be between like the first flights in 1903, is it 1902, 1903, I always forget. And then uh, to those biplanes, and then it, it, it happened so fast, and so many crazy airplanes, and so many people working in aviation. It's such an exciting time. That's why I like propeller airplanes too, because uh, it's... Uh, it's where aviation started. You no know, jets, they became faster and they are exciting. But I, I, my first love is always going to be the, the the ones with the little whirly things in front of the propellers. Joe McNally took the photo of a light bulb. Yeah, he was doing a piece of light bulbs and he picked that because it was an iconic light. That's awesome. Yeah. I found a book of his about taking photographs. About it's a good book because he just gets a famous shot of his and. He explains how he lit it and how he did it. And, but, and it was the basement of our building, uh, of our previous building we lived in New York City. And then we, we gave that away. So, uh, so yeah, so this, this, I didn't expect to come land by the Eiffel Tower, but uh, that's what happened. I don't know if anyone else is going to try this landing again. But there comes Wild Craze out there. Let's wait for Wild Craze to come and try the landing again. And in the meantime, if you want to take a look at, I, I did this workshop, it was 2013, I think, with uh, Richard Calvar, and it was like eight days, seven, eight days in Paris, and it was a wonderful experience because, you know, it's a nice city. They're, they're not cheap, but you can find ways to make them cheaper if you write to them and say, hey, I would love to take your workshop. I don't have much money. Can you help me? And, and you know, if you have a friend who lives there, you can crash at their place, stuff like that. But... I probably eventually will start doing photo workshops, but first I want to get my book published and I was going to do it this month, but then all this other stuff happened and I, it's postponed to next month. Once I do that, then maybe I'll start photo workshops. In the meantime, if you want to see the pictures I took on this workshop, uh, no pressure. It's all right. We only have, what, 10 viewers? Wow, crazy. No pressure at all. All right. You can see some, uh, some of the other pictures I took here. Here, well, this was Notre Dame. You know, it's my style of photography. It's more like... Uh, black and white and uh and candid so you know this is more like bruce gildenish over here who i worked with later who became my mentor but you can go check that out with that link all right let's see wild craze coming in for a land coming in hot for landing by the, the tour eiffel a classic human monument a classic building and let's just uh, let's just uh, keep waiting for him here. I I don't know if you can cross this water pond. I think if you hit that, you will c crash. So you should try to stop before that, unless you manage to hop and then stop before the you you hop and stop, you hop and stop, and you hop and stop before <laughs> before the Eiffel Tower because the Eiffel Tower. Was that a DA-40? Here we go. Here we go. Touchdown, touchdown. Watch the van. Go van, go van. Boom! Oh, no. <laughs> An applause for the effort, though. <laughs> An applause for the effort. That was awesome. 
And if you haven't yet, ladies and gentlemen, go check out Wild Craze. Go to go check out uh, Foxy. I think she's still uh, streaming mostly Minecraft. I think I haven't been around for a while. Go check out Elias and uh, all these wonderful people here on the stream. Sneak and Dodo coming in now, and, and who who is el who else is there? And of course, Sneak and Dodo as well, aka. I don't know if he wants me to do this, but I think it'll be okay. Shipa. And who, who do we have like a whiskey? I, I forget if whiskey uh, canna cup there uh, streams or not, but uh, whiskey canna as well. And also, of course, the white tea, the mystical here in the house. Um, a few shout outs here for the people join, by, dropping by. No worries. All right. And Joey Bolo does, though. Here's Joey Bolo 77, I think. And here it comes. Oh, I think you got it. I think you got it. I mean, you ran, you, the, 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 lands, the landscape gardener is going to be mad at you because I think you ran over a couple of those little... little uh, an applause for Sheeple, ladies and gentlemen. Successfully landing a Beechcraft Bonanza here on this field, the uh, Champ de Mars. Leading up to the Eiffel Tower, one of the iconic human-made structures in the world. <laughs> All right, not sure if I forgot anyone, but uh, it's time to raid someone. I'm going to uh, clean sheet 350. Yeah, I have to clean the sheets. That's one of the things I have to do. I've been away for a while. There's a uh, two million. Uh, where am I on my to-do list? I pay the visa. I. I I, I got the Chewy order for the cats. I have to, I did the Google Maps plugin for the little nav map. I ordered Felix for my mom's cats in Italy. Now I have to apply for jobs, buy, call Bruce, update portfolio, update resume. You know, unemployment's running out September here in the United States. It's been very helpful, but um, you know, I'm gonna have to find a part-time job at least. I love part-time jobs. I don't want to dedicate my whole life to a job that's just for money. I want to stream. I'm not going to stop streaming. I have a to-do list. To-do list to do. And so let's go raid someone. Chewbacca for the cat. Chewy. It's, a, it's the American co uh, cat food uh, online company that we, we use because it's easy. I literally crashed straight down out of the sky to hit the deck just right and slow enough break. Yeah, though, that's, that's what excites me about general aviation and small airplanes is that you, you can go and, and attempt these crazy landings. And when it works, it feels really rewarding, you know, especially with like a Neofly that makes it into like a flight into a it puts like experience points and it puts like you can make money from it. It just like is it's wonderful. I'll do a little, let me do a little a quick screenshot here and then we're going to go raid someone. If anybody has any suggestions about a raid, now's the time to do it. Uh, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, it's so hard to change this speed of the drone when it gets too fast. There, that's a little slower. And let's get down. Here's a photography tip. If your pictures are not so good, get bend your knees, get lower and get put something in the foreground to make it more interesting. You fill the frame, okay? So I'm trying to fill the frame right now. I'm trying to have both Sheepa's airplane in the foreground and my airplane in the background. And uh, that's one tip. Get closer to your subject. Like Robert Capo used to say, the close, if your pictures are not good enough, you're not close enough, okay? Don't kill yourself. Don't go into a war zone and, and, and try to get a good picture by killing yourself. Uh, you can try it on the street, okay. Here you go. That's okay, that's not great, but uh, there, there's not this area here. We could use like a plane flying in there or something, but I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Blank out cocaine runner marking serial number. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, what is this here? Does your serial number is blanked out. Drone window has, uh, oh, the, the window has a speed slider. Oh, thanks for that tip. That's, that's good to know. Where's the drone window? Let's see uh, here. Oh, thanks so much for, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's so much better than playing it, pressing F1 and F2. Thank you. An applause for Wild Craze for that. Uh, 
that tip. Don't get run over on the street either, but I often find that kneeling gets better shots. Yeah, even and get on your get in your belly. You know, people look at you funny, but that can get some crazy shots on your belly on the street. Sure. Are you, are you nearby? Are you gonna try to land again? I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait for another attempt. Or if you want to try a flyby, do do a flyby and I'll do the picture. And then you can do the landing attempt. I, I I can wait. There's no there's no rush. Cats are not bothering me yet, although they probably will soon. It's almost four o'clock. All right, waiting for the flyby by uh, by uh, standing by for flyby by Wild Craze. Oh look at the light up there! Do you see that it changes color? That was pretty cool. Copy that. Standing by. Do I hear a plane? Oh no, it's the drone zone. A meetup by the Eiffel Tower of general aviation planes. Take a look back. It's not there, maybe it's coming from the other direction. There he is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Wild Chris coming in for a flyby. Oh, here he is. Here he comes. Here he comes. Let's get back down in position. Let's turn the camera around. Let's get try to get the whole tower. You can zoom out too, as if you're putting like you know a 28 millimeter or 24 millimeter lens. If it's too, if it's too uh, too wide, then it's a little too much. But that's looking pretty good. Different time, uh, like a, a bit of more golden light. We got, oh, there he goes. Whoa, and a screenshot. Boom, I got him. <laughs> One, two, boss. Excellent. And now I think he's going to go around for, for the landing attempt. We'll try that. We are obviously, we're not in Las Vegas, we're in Paris. There's an Eiffel Tower replica in, in Las Vegas, but it's not, you know, it's not the same size. And uh, I, if you choose between one or the other, I suggest you choose to go to Paris. <laughs> Unless you're really like, you have a gambling problem, then I guess you can, uh, you know, Las Vegas, you can go and hang out uh, at the, I don't know if it's paper mache or, or like, uh, <laughs> total going around. Hey, watch out for the tourists, huh? I don't know if there are any tourists out there. All right, Wild Craze coming in for an, a landing attempt and a DA-40 as well. He's circling. He's taking a look. He's thinking about it. I find that that big building over there, I don't know what that building is called. Uh, that's a good, uh, if you go there, it's a good uh, landmark for you to, to, to begin your approach. There he is. And look at that. Those, do you see those effects? I don't know if that's uh, it's an, a new effect from Microsoft Flight Simulator, but there's these effects of the wind. It's almost like a wind. Uh, a wind. Uh, I don't know what those things are called. It's not St. Elmo's Fire. I don't know if that models this. Le Lieutenant Smarta says the fur coat with the ears next to Radio City. Love it. Oh, the. You're looking at some pictures. <laughs> yeah, that was what 2015 or something when I when I first moved to New York City to to live here. I spent basically a year or two just almost photographing almost every day. So I have a lot of photos and about I'd say about half of them are from New York City and my that my book that's coming out. But that's out of thousands and thousands and thousands of photos I have about probably 40 photos in the book. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Wild craze, maneuvering, thinking about uh, thinking about the position. Whoa, and I pressed the wrong button and now I'm back. Uh, I pressed five and, and it puts me back on by my airplane. And we are standing by. 
<laughs> Thank you, Foxy. Yeah, the graphics are awesome in this game, right? I mean, even the cities, the ones with photogrammetry, even the ones that don't have it, it's just so cool that you can go and fly somewhere in the real world. And here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, Wild Grace coming in. He touched down, he touched down hard, but that's, that's what you have to do in this one. You have to put it down and then you have to break, 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 break. And I believe he's done it. He has done an applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Wild Craze. <laughs> one up, pass and one to jump. <laughs> We'll do one more picture now. And if there's someone that's streaming that you know, who you like, who you want to raid, just let me know. And I will, here, let, here's another, here's a movie trick. You go far away from the action. So you want to, you want to do a lot of drama, like, uh, you know, introducing the hero coming into the, you know, set. So you go far away and then you put a huge telephoto lens on the thing, on the camera, whatever you're using. And then you zoom in like crazy. So it compresses the perspective and you can see all the detailing there. Although then I would only see wild crazy. It's too much. I would only see wild crazy and not sneaking Dota there. So I'm just gonna do one that, that shows the whole the whole tower there. I don't know why, why my, I think it's because I'm, I'm the person. I don't know if there's a, a setting to turn on my, my nameplate on, but I haven't found it if there is. So that's why my nameplate is not there, but uh, there you go. Happy Pappy82. All right, Ruskud, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, and uh, screenshot there. Fantastic. And let's go raid Happy. And actually, before I raid, let's go the ultra. This does not happen just because of me. Is this? What's going on here? Oh, it's here. Okay. I'm going to go back into the real world over there. This happens happens because of you all. Thanks for being here, and special thanks uh, to to Sheep and Galaxia. Been here from the beginning. Always a wonderful presence in the stream. Special thanks to Wild Craze, uh, to all of you who who've been around here. All right, Elias, Foxy, Ginger Pan, Sheep, uh, Ionic, Noventa Nove, Gmelo from Brazil, YT Misco, Joey Bolo. All right, who else did we have here? We had, uh, we had Whiskey Canna coming in, Lieutenant Smartass, we've got Metrog, always a pleasure to fly with Metrog, Elias Speaks, who I may be playing together with soon. It has been a pleasure to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful evening, and let's go read Happy Papi. Maybe born in 1982, I don't know. Let's see how that goes. Two, three, five, ten, twelve, thirteen viewers right today. Happy Pappy. One, two, boss. Lots of love to you all. Rating. Tuesday, yes, happy Turbo Prop Tuesday. Uh, uh, the uh, the Canar exit. Um, you ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir, I've never been up in a plane before. Hypertext Thero, you thank you very much for the. Uh, thank you very much. Really appreciate that follow there. Okay, that's set. And we'll cage, uh, we'll cage that. 